Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing a quick video on how to actually use the grid map function or the process in Godot. I showed another video, uh, the previous one of this actually showed how to set this up. So if you want to kind of do a tile format, one of the best ways to set up environments in Godot. But uh, right now I'm going to show you how to actually use the grid maps itself, right? So first and foremost, you have this side panel here, which will either show the objects that you have imported into the grid map or the mesh library really as either a, a grid or a list format. So if we want to, let's say, place this barrel here, we have it and we can actually rotate any object we have, right? So we can press uh, D and it'll rotate it kind of clockwise here, or we can press A and kind of rotate it kind of forward backwards, right? It's kind of this pitchy all kind of motion. Then we can press S to actually rotate the object. So this is a great way if you want to try to place uh, objects on the ground or any sort of direction that you want to place an object, right? And to actually change the height of the object, all you have to do is press Q or E. It actually changes where you place it at. So if you want to place an object, let's say, higher up for whatever reason, you can. If you want to place it more on the ground, you just kind of lower it back down with Q, and you can line it up however you want it. Now, once we line up our object, we place two chairs because we want them there, and we decide later that we actually don't want them, we can delete objects by hovering over it with the same object, clicking shift and right clicking. And that'll delete it, and that'll delete it, whoops. And this will delete it. You guys get pretty precise on this, there we go. And there's deleted. Now if we wanna like kind of build a wall, as shown here, we can actually change the axis that we're on, right? So we're on the Y axis, which is this floor here, and we can change to the X axis. And this is this side panel here, so if we wanna place a wall, we can, and we'll just need to rotate it. And there's a wall, there's a wall right there, and we'll place something on top. Um, and there's our wall right there, right? And we can do the same on the z-axis, which is gonna be in this direction. And if we wanna, let's say, bring it forward or more, we can just press E or Q, or you can change this itself, I'm just typing zero, um, and I'll bring it there, or we can type in, you know, negative 100, and that'll push it, you know, back here. So. This is really the main things that the grid map can do. These are just some basic controls on how to use it. Um, the snap size as well, which I mentioned in the other video, is I set mine for 0.1, so it's really precise. But you can really set it for whatever you want. Uh, one last thing is it kind of looks faded right now. That's because there's no light in this scene. I don't like to actually add light into the grid map itself because I don't think it looks that great. But so I do it in the main scene. So looking at the main scene, it looks something like this. So the color is actually correct, and the scene looks okay at least. The lighting's not great, but at least it lets you get a rough idea of what the scene is actually going to look like. So that's really all I want to show you today, which is a quick video on how to actually control the grid maps. I um, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.